In my previous video, we discussed about Newton's law of gravitation and we derived the mathematical analysis for that. Let us uh, write down the mathematical equation for Newton's law of gravitation. F is equal to G into M1 into M2 upon R square, where M1 is the mass of first object, M2 is the mass of another object, and R square. Uh, where r is the distance between the two objects. g is the universal gravitational constant and f is the gravitational force acting between the two objects. Now in this video we are going to discuss why the gravitational force between two objects on the earth is insignificant. Let us consider a situation like this. Say this is the curvature of the earth. What I mean to say is, suppose this is the earth and we are considering some portion of it which I represented over here, which I have represented over here. So still you can see the curvature but uh, when you will practically see it by standing over here, suppose, suppose the place where you are standing right now or suppose you are standing in the open ground, you would see that you won't be able to feel this curvature or you won't be able to see this curvature it would be somewhat like this it would be flat okay so consider this as the earth surface and this is some object mass m1 uh, and this is some another object mass m2 and distance between them is uh, small r okay and this is the center of the earth and this is the radius of the earth that is capital r okay now this r basically represents the distance between two objects that are considered in the discussion okay so when we are considering this much portion when we are considering this portion this would be radius so you would have some radius like this so this is the radius and this is center okay so this would also be the radius and this would also be the radius okay now let us calculate the force and I, I will label this as A I will label this as B and this is the earth okay this is earth now force acting between A B would be represented by G into M1 to M2 upon R square. This is the first thing. And force acting between these two masses. Now let us assume some values for this. Say the object, uh, if you are considering uh, this object of 5 kg. Five and this object of 10 kg. Our one say distance is say 1 meter, just 1 meter. Then the, then the magnitude of this force would be 50 into 6.67 .6 into 10 raised to minus 11 Newton. And I will assume this for a while as 6 I am just ignoring this decimal part to make the calculation simple and it is around 300 into 10 raised to minus 11 Newton I am ignoring decimal part so we are just going to compare so it really does not matter we are going to ignore this decimal part in both the cases so it should do now let us 
calculate the force between A and Earth. Now mass of first object is 1, so 6, 10 raised to minus 11. We are ignoring the decimal part, then mass of the first object is 5 kg. 6 into 10 raised to 24 kg is the mass of the Earth. Yes, this is the mass of the Earth. And again, the distance would be R. That is the radius of the Earth. Now this radius is surely going to be greater than 1 meter. But this value, this value would turn out to be so large, so large as compared to this value. That, so what I mean to say is FAB would be very very small as compared to FA Earth. So the force exerted by B on A would not be felt at all because this force would be too large. Okay. Thank you.